The, the Oba of Lagos, here ably represented by Opelua um, himself. Thank you very much, Opelua. Thank you. I saw some of your other white cap chiefs also at an event this morning. His Royal Majesty, the Ayyogun of the Kurodu, Oba Kaduru, Adewale Show TV, thank you very much. His Royal Majesty, Oloja of Epe, Oba Kamarudin, and Nimasham, thank you. His Royal Majesty, Adigburu of Igogo, Oba Kasali, Abdul Semiu Kasali, His Royal Majesty, Onisabe of Igobi, Oba Wolabi Adeni, His Royal Majesty, Ebamba Nkiwon, His Royal Majesty, Adeni Ashadi, the Iba, Oba Oniba of Iba Kingdom, the Royal Majesty, I think is the newest among them, um, Oba Amodu Tijani Uluwa, the Uluwa of uh, uh, Papa, the Royal Majesty, Ala Keson of Akeson, Oba Abidemi, Nojim, Aberi Ejo, the Royal Majesty, Oba, oh, this represents the region of of um, Ikeja, Prince Isaac Adekunle Akwino, and also a representative of Oba Said Elegusi, Oba Yuba Elegusi Elitu. Thank you all very much. They all deserve a round of applause. And all white captives, they have come here elegantly dressed to support us here. Our political leaders, our leader, our GSC leader, Dr. Abao Mifini, who is a leader in this locality. Thank you very much, sir. Senator Musi Obaniko, thank you. Oluri Egbe. Prof, what did I do? Prof, Professor Moise Banire, who is also the president of the GRA resident in this community. Uh, very troublesome president, but very capable and able. <laughs> Senior lawyer, Win Lomodamoli, thank you very much. Uh, another troublesome, my bon, Waduki, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Dixon, thank you very much. All of our leaders, political leaders that are here, I want to thank all of you. You have turned out here in large number. Please, let's give them a round of applause. I'm truly, truly impressed with what I've seen here today. The representative of the chairman of our party, also the Mayegun himself, Mayegun Moshu. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. But the thanks goes to the management staff and the staff of LAPCA. I think you all deserve a round of applause here today. Thank you very, very much. Distinguished guests, the, the Sonulu babes, uh, the chairman and MD of our contracting company. Do what you get other jobs because this is a beautiful building. You get other jobs. Um, it's clear that you've done a good job. Distinguished guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, when you come for an epoch event like this, there's always joy and happiness around the clock. And why do I start? You've all heard that indeed in government, in 18 months, government can set their mind to do something and they can do it well. Government can set out to achieve an objective within 18 months, under two years, and they will achieve it. I want to thank the contractor I want to thank the management of LAPCA. I want to thank everybody for making this edicis a reality. When I saw the picture about three weeks ago myself, I was truly, truly impressed. And I was proud with what all of you professionally have been able to do. Why do I say this? Just over the weekend, we saw on social media how government should not behave. How people can indeed politically push all of our attempts to be responsible, to be transparent, to be committed, how people can indeed turn it around. We do not have a problem with anybody, with any individual, and want to acknowledge that one, two, indeed, say that this is the way we should be doing. These are the things we should be We don't have a problem with it. In fact, we, we appreciate criticism. We appreciate the fact that people can look at us in the face and say that you need to do well in this place. So we don't have a problem with the originator of an open letter with me. In fact, we like it, you know, and we want to thank him. You know, and that's to say that, indeed, if it's a government that is transparent and is responsible, we should not shy away from criticism. But it's only when criticism is malicious, is unintended, and begins to misrepresent the truth 
that's when there's a problem. And I'm sure that the officers in Lagos State, they've all come out to show that indeed you can make mistakes on some lines of ITEC. I hear that there was, a, there was a particular one in which an item was meant to be 2 million, it was written as 2 billion. Let me say that the website that we created is an Excel sheet website. And so if you know how Excel sheet works sometimes, indeed, if they are not monitoring very well, your numbers can indeed be, be, be extrapolated and they can be turned around. So for us, I want to say that I'm leading a team of dedicated public officers. I'm leading a team of committed civil servants. I'm leading a team of self-motivated public officers that want to stand and say that they can, they can be above, but they can indeed stand and be recognized with anyone worldwide. And this is a testament of it. This is a public building that has been judiciously signed on budget that has been delivered to see that that's what we are about in Lagos. That's what we stand for. That's what we believe should be the responsive and the responsibility of government. And so we are not going to join issues on social media. All we want to do is to continue to serve the people of Lagos, serve it with every iota of strength that we have, with every commitment that we have, and believing that you Lagosians that we're serving, you can truly, truly see the benefit of our service. And I think I just want to make this point and put this to rest. The website will continue to work, we'll continue to put all of our numbers there, and we'll continue to pride ourselves at all times that indeed we can make mistakes, but it's not with any intention for us to be unmindful of what public good is and continuously ensure that the public good is a public asset that will continue to respect and do the best of.